UP Paper LLC was born from the ashes of what was once the largest industrial employer in the county. The plant spent most of the winter restructuring the business around the production of a single specialty product, brown craft paper. The paper is most commonly used in the creation of the brown paper bag seen at grocery markets and fast food restaurants. Officials say the decision to focus on craft paper compared to a variety of paper products that involve bleaches and dyes was both fiscally sound and environmentally friendly. We're going to use uh, this type of paper more than we have used in the past and uh, also the plastic bags are not necessarily good for the environment. Uh, um, plastic, as you know, it's lots of plastic floating around in in rivers and in oceans, so I think this is going to grow. In April of 2016, UP Paper hired its first batch of employees, starting with maintenance and moving on to machine operators. The company did choose to rehire some of those who lost their job as a result of the plant's closure the year prior. At full capacity, the plant will run with 90 positions. So far, just over 70 have been filled with a mix of fresh and experienced faces. I have to say that the people here is so hardworking and good people, so it's unbelievable. I, I'm, I've been starting up plants all over the world, but I have never seen a crew like this. It's very, very good, hardworking people. The plant has been running on and off since June, working on getting samples out into the markets. By October, Danberg says the plant should be running at full capacity. Reporting from Manistique for ABC 10 in the CW5, I'm Chelsea Burtzall.